Hello everyone, this is Shaya and welcome to my biology class. Today we will discuss about different important topics or questions on biology for the class 12 board final this year. I have prepared these topics based on my personal 10 years of teaching experience and also by searching the trending questions from internet as well as reliable educational channels on YouTube. I will provide you most important topics on class 12 biology unit wise with detailed discussion on marks distribution and number of questions expected from those chapters. So you need to watch the entire video to know all the important topics and nature of questions may appear from that topic. And if you find this video helpful as well as want to know about all the updates then please like, share and subscribe my channel. Today we will discuss on the first unit. Our first unit of class 12 is reproduction and you may get total 12 marks from this unit in the exam. So the first chapter under this unit is reproduction in organism. You may get one question from this chapter. So the important topics under this chapter are first topic is asexual and sexual reproduction. You have to prepare their definition, types, examples, differences between them etc. You may also have the question like which process is better and why. Our next important topic is vegetative propagation. Here also you have to prepare different types of vegetative propagation with examples. Let us focus on the next chapter. Our next chapter under this unit is sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Here you may expect about 2 to 3 questions in the exam. Let us know the different important topics under this chapter. First topic is labeled diagram of a typical ovule. Here you have to draw the diagram of anatropus ovule and you may also uh, need to describe the entire diagram. Next important topic is labeled diagram of a typical monocotyledon embryo that is of maize embryo. You may also prepare the typical dicotyledon embryo structure with diagram. But I think that for this year typical monocotyledon embryo is very very important. Next with diagram describe about the 7 celled 8 nucleated female gametophyte. This question is very very important. I put a special asterisk marks on this question. Here you have to prepare that diagram of embryo sac which contains uh, antipodal cells, polar nuclei, egg cells, synergies, etc. Next question or topic is with diagram describe about the dehiscence of pollen grain at two celled or three celled stage. Among these four diagrammatic questions, you may get any one question for sure. Next topic is double fertilization in flowering plants. This question or topic is also very very important for the exam purpose. You may get of any question, any question of uh, 2 marks, 3 marks or even 5 marks. If the question appears for 2 marks, you need not to draw the diagram. But anything marks more than 2, you have to provide the diagram. Next, you have to prepare some notes for explanation like apomixis, polyembryony, microsporogenesis, megasporogenesis formation of endospore, endosperm, etc. Our next important topic is self-pollination and cross-pollination. Here also you have to study definition of self-pollination and cross-pollination, differences between them, different agents of cross-pollination, strategies evolved to prevent the self-pollination, etc. Our next chapter is human reproduction. You may expect 2 to 3 questions from this chapter. Our first important topic under this chapter is diagram of male or female reproductive system. You may get any one diagram in the exam. Next diagram of sperm, ovum or ovary. You may also get any one question from these three diagrams. I think especially the diagram of ovary with the growing follicles is very important for the exam purpose. Next topic is spermatogenesis and oogenesis. And again, any one of this process will definitely come in the exam in any form of questions. And for that purpose, you need to prepare different steps 
of spermatogenesis zoogenesis with entire diagram as well as you need to know the hormonal control of these processes. Next important topic is menstrual cycle. Here also you have to prepare the name of the different phases of menstrual cycle, hormonal control of menstrual cycle, graphy and representation showing the rising and falling of different hormones in the blood is very very important for exam purpose. Next you need to prepare some notes uh, on the following topics, especially putting emphasis on their location in our body as well as the function of these structures. And for that purpose you need to prepare the notes of these topics like Bartholin glands, next Cowper's glands, epididymis, vas deferens, seminiferous tubules, Leydig cells, Sartoli cells, seminal vesicles, prostate glands, graphian follicle, corpus luteum, corpus albicans, scrotum and trophoblast. You may expect any one or two question from this section alone. Okay. Next we move to the last chapter under this unit, chapter reproductive health. You may also expect one to two questions from this chapter. So, the important topics under this chapter is different type of STDs, STDs means sexually transmitting diseases and uh, you need to uh, study the name of different STDs, the causative agents of STDs, mode of transmission of these diseases as well as prevention of these diseases. These are very very important and any one name of the sexually transmitting diseases will certainly come in the exam. Next you need to prepare notes on the topics like amniocentesis, ICSI that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, test tube baby that is IVF and artificial insemination. So, these topics are very very important for exam purpose. So, we have learnt about all the important topics from unit 1. From questions point of view all of these topics are very very important for exam purpose. You cannot make any suggestion out of this topic, you should study the entire syllabus with special emphasis on these topics to get full marks in the exam. That is all for today, we will meet again with the next unit of our next video. Till then, goodbye.